Hello YouTubers, I wanted to put up a video really quick just to talk about some recent news what's going on with the Queen and some of my thoughts around some things because there's a lot more going on more than usual around this time and I think it's relevant to mention it because it has so much significance. And one thing that brought me to this conclusion is that I was uploading a video today about um, my time during the Jubilee that I do on my members page and all the fun that I had and everything that was going on with the people and how I just felt this, this great energy from the British people being at the Jubilee and, and just watching and celebrating, you know, all the people and what joy it brought me. And, and then hearing this news today about the Queen's health, it just, it just brought it all home for me about the significance of that celebration. And it is a celebration of life and duty and commitment that this woman, this magnificent woman has given to the country and, the, and to the Commonwealth. And I, I'm so, so glad that I went to the Jubilee. I'm so glad that I have memories of myself celebrating and enjoying just all the people coming together for something that was great and positive because we see in this time the stress and what people within the Queen's circle have done to her legacy and to her health and to the health of her husband. Now, I didn't know much about Prince Philip. I did learn a lot more since you know starting my channel about his legacy and the things that he started and because you know like I've always said my whole my whole life around the royals has always been centered around princess or Diana princess of Wales her official name not princess Diana is what I'm told um, yes we, we know the formalities but you know as an American you know we don't really adhere to the the strict formalities we kind of pick up on our Americanisms of things about the foreigners over in the UK and you know Princess Diana is just our go-to way of acknowledging you know who Diana was and what we called her but you know I get the formality so you know I say all this to say that it, it has really given me such new insight and perspective around the Queen and everything that she has done and what she means to the people and I remember when Prince Philip was in the hospital and how Harry and Meghan they went on the Oprah show they did this special you know and it was just so inappropriate for them to even do that Oprah interview having it air while Prince Philip was in hospital and while the Queen was worrying about her husband in hospital these wackadoos are on Oprah you know throwing the royal family under the bus and it's especially shameful for someone like Meghan as an American woman being you know brought into such privilege to even be behind the walls of this royal family and to air their dirty laundry on a world stage with Oprah, one of the leading uh, women of uh, broadcast in our country, to, to do what she did to the royal family is unforgivable. It's not okay to be invited and to actually monetize their brand now, to take everything that they bestowed upon you as a privilege and to throw it under the bus in such any time would be wrong, but especially while the queen's husband was in hospital, essentially dying, she goes and she does this. And this stress I think has, has really added to the queen. Prince Philip, he could have made it till 100. He was very close to being 100. His birthday was coming up, but he couldn't make it because I think the stress, and you look it up, stress is one of the leading causes of of people dying in poor health, let alone being in, you know, being an older person, the stress you can't handle. And I just think it's abominable. It is so unforgivable what they have done to the royal family. An American woman has, has essentially contributed to that premature death. And you know, the queen is now not doing well. And, and, and the whole thing about them maybe coming to see the queen while they were already in Europe being invited. I heard they weren't invited. Then I see stories that they were invited and that they turned it down. The conflict even around this couple and, and, and what they are doing. Like they, they, they should not even, I mean, I can, I can be honest and say, had they gone to the 
to see the queen now or not, they're going to be criticized either way. And you know what I say to that? That's right. Because of how you've behaved, you're going to be criticized whether you go or whether you don't go, because that's how bad they have behaved. And my personal opinion is, is I don't see how she could even show her face. I don't see how she could even show her face amongst the family members while the queen is ill. I think the queen seeing Meghan Markle and Harry is, is not good for her health. It's like, okay, you want to come? Then stare your butt out into the waiting room. We'll give you updates. How about that? That's what I say. They should not be anywhere way allowed near the queen as far as I'm concerned. They, they've already caused too much problems at this point. So I'm hearing these stories about them coming. Not sure if it's true, but I just, I find it so disheartening that they would even, even try to even acknowledge the queen in this moment, considering what they've done in the past you know, bringing this upon the queen during this time is, is abominable to me because of everything that she's done. I mean, just watching the people over in Great Britain and, and just how everyone came together. And, and when I went to go see Rose a host and how she and her, her circle of friends had planned a celebration for the queen. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to stay for it, but it was just like the preparation that went around that, to, around what she was doing and around what other people in the whole country were doing. And it just, it just, it just showed me so much about what this woman meant to other fellow Americans like Rose, like myself and others. And, and to see what Megan, an American who has the actual privilege to be around the queen, and to behave the way she has behaved is, is it, it just infuriates me that she could use her privilege to be so nasty and to be so, so disrespectful. It, 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 I don't know that most Americans will pick up on it. I know a lot will because there are a lot of us Americans that do see it, but a lot won't. And, and, they, and they will commend this woman for what she is doing to the royals. But they don't, they, they just, they're just, to be quite frank about it, ignorant to what the queen means to the country. So I think it, it behooves us to, if you want to be a follower and you want to be a supporter of people like Harry and Meghan, it, you really owe it to yourself to look at the works of the queen and her husband and, and what their legacy has meant to the people. It has changed over the years because it gets better when, when more knowledge comes to, to the fore, then you do better. It's when you know better and you don't do better. That's, that's the problem. And Harry, especially, he knows better. He knows better. He needs to put his foot down, tell his wife to just go park it somewhere because she ain't want it. She is not wanted. We don't want to hear what you got to say. And her monetizing the whole crown is deplorable because everything that she has right now, she has gotten from her marriage to Harry. She's monetizing it. And she's, she is also speaking badly about the crown that has given her her platform right now. She would not have any of this platform that she is monetizing without the monarchy, without the British monarchy. She had a little something, something, but it didn't really become significant and meaningful, meaningful on a global stage until she married this man. So she can go around talking about fem feminism and all these things that she wants to try to empower people, but let's just keep it real. She got the majority of her fame and her infamous behavior from that which she dismisses. And she should not be allowed anywhere near the queen during this time. The queen needs to be around the people that have loved her and supported her during these final years of her legacy because they have taken on the extra job duties that the queen has needed. What have Harry and Meghan done? They have tried to monetize and gone to America to do things rather than support the queen because they couldn't be bothered with uh, supporting the queen. That, that to them is meaningless to them. 
So I'm going to keep bringing updates around everything that is going on with the, the queen and her health right now and, and paying close attention to what those that love the queen, what they're doing. I know that William and Charles, we have, we've all heard the news that they are with the queen. And what does this mean now for those that have tried to diss the queen? Do, do they try now to come and be a part of the, the healing? Do they try to come and be a part of the prayers that the queen needs right now? Because if they are, they need to go, go kick rocks, go park it somewhere because nobody needs them at this time because they've contributed to this. This is my opinion. They have contributed to the poor health of the queen right now because the queen's mother lived into her hundreds. And we know the queen, Elizabeth, she could have, she can live as well into her hundreds. But the premature uh, ailments could be brought on, in my opinion, by the stress because she has the best of the best doctors. And there's no reason why she could not be around for another five, 10 years. But this ailing health of the queen, I believe is brought on by Harry and Meghan. And because of that, they need to stay their butts away from the queen. Stay away.